Oh my god, Nvidia's upcoming RTX 4070 is 40% 40 faster than the RTX 3080 and is only $100 cheaper? Doesn't that sound like an awesome deal? Well, only if you're willing to pretend the fake FPS number in the corner of your screen actually means anything. Let's discuss that in this video. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. So recently, video cards on their site posted some leaked slides and marketing material which confirms the release date, price, and some performance numbers for the upcoming RTX 4070, Nvidia's mid-range offering from the Ada Lovelace family. The first slide they posted is an introductory slide which states 1440p at 100 FPS plus with RT and DLSS 3. So they're positioning this card as a 1440p GPU, which they should given its slimmer memory bus and lower VRAM. This is a card that just won't do very well at 4K. We also have AI power content creation and usually would not see this kind of stuff for marketing on a GeForce GPU, but the reason why they're doing so is because Lately, with the breakout in AI apps and machine learning, more and more users are starting to dive into this sector, and they realize that people will utilize their GPUs in these scenarios, so it makes sense that they're going to be using it as a selling point. Price has been confirmed at $599, and a release date for April 13th, which is in a couple days. Now, this next slide is how they're trying to get consumers on board with this graphics card, because NVIDIA know there is no way in hell they can sell this card based on pure rasterization performance, and that is what you have to be careful of. The gray bars represent how much faster the RTX 4070 will be against last gen's RTX 30 series cards when only using DLSS 3 without frame generation. This is your typical deep learning upscale technology where the game is rendered at a lower internal resolution than intelligently upscaled to produce an image closer to that of native resolution, while also providing you with the higher performance benefit. Without frame generation, generation, the RTX 4070 is tied with the RTX 3080. It's 20% faster than the RTX 3070 Ti and is 30% faster than the RTX 3070. That alone already makes the 4070 look quite abysmal compared to previous generation X70 class cards we've gotten. It's just not meeting the performance improvement that we've come to expect from this tier. But wait, according to Nvidia, with frame generation, it's 40% faster than the RTX 3080. Now, if you're not too familiar with NVIDIA's frame generation that they introduced when the RTX 4090 was launched, basically it's a frame rate interpolator for your games. It's using deep learning algorithms where there are additional frames added in between your real frames, thus providing a smoother video output. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole debate about if it's good or not. My stance on frame generation that is that it's fine for use in slower paced single player games like Hitman or Microsoft flight sim and that's only if you're really cranking up the visual settings and have the highest ray tracing preset on. Otherwise, you're better off sticking with lower visual quality settings or lowering the resolution, especially if you're playing a multiplayer competitive game like Call of Duty. However, what can be mutually agreed on is that using frame generation to showcase performance is just straight up misleading because it's giving you an illusion of being smooth, but the game is not actually running at that frame rate. Along with that, previous gen RTX 30 series GPUs don't quote unquote support it, so that right there is already creating a huge disadvantage for Ampere. And this could perhaps be why Nvidia has been reluctant on adding support for DLSS 3 to previous generation Turing and Ampere cards, but we'll come back to that in just a moment. The next slide showcases performance of the RTX 4070, 3070 Ti, and 2070 Super in various titles using ray tracing at 1440p with DLSS and frame generation enabled in the, in the games that support it. So right off the bat you can see how this bar chart will mislead consumers into believing that the 4070 is miles ahead of the previous generation X70 class GPUs, but if you take a closer look at the titles without frame generation, it will show you a more clear picture on just how much faster the 4070 is compared to those cards. And judging by this chart, the 4070 lands basically where we expected it to. It's 3080 performance, which isn't even that much faster than an RTX 3070 Ti. Just take a look at the gap between the 3070 and 2070 Super in those selected titles. NVIDIA's own benchmarks showcase just how little progress they have actually made. 
but Nvidia is just so high and drunk on their DLSS3 frame generation Kool-Aid that they want to impose those beliefs on their consumers as well. Fortunately for us consumers, and unfortunately for them, a lot of people just aren't buying it. If you take a look at Nvidia's official GeForce channel on YouTube, you'll see that all they have been posting are trailers and gameplay clips of upcoming or recently released titles which have had RTX DLSS3 implemented. That is how they are marketing these cards now. The selling point of pure rasterization performance does not exist in Nvidia's world anymore. This is why it should make sense to you as to why they are able to sell these cards with small die sizes and craptastic memory configurations with low performance upgrades. Because technically, through frame generation, they can claim that the new cards are drastically faster. That's it. Rewind the clock and just imagine what would have happened if Nvidia tried to charge $400 for a GTX 1070 that only offered GTX 980 levels of performance. People would have absolutely laughed at that. DLSS3 is the only leg they have to stand on now. And for the small minority that are doing their mental gymnastics and defending this, what will you say when Nvidia launches an RTX 5070 for $999 and claims well it's faster than our $1200 4080 with DLSS 4.0? So, will the upcoming 4070 crush the RTX 3080? Yes. Yes it will, but only if you're willing to believe the fake generated FPS number in the corner of your screen. If you guys found this video to be informative and entertaining, then leave a like. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Be sure to check out the video description for cool links and ways to support the channel, such as using my Amazon affiliate link. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, then consider subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.